what is up? Welcome to another Urban Master experiment. So today's project is we're going to replace a Windows regulator in this BMW. E90. And this is my friend, Mark. Urban Master Apprentice. <laughs> Alright, so first, in order to get to it, we need to remove the, the trim. And what I'm going to do is try to pop this trim off like that. And I'm using just whatever this brush as a lever. Do the same thing with the bottom piece. Okay. One side is out. Second side is out. Okay, we got three T20 bolts here. And three. All right, and now we should be able to remove this entire panel. I have to curse in German because it's a German car, otherwise. That's okay, we can understand right. it. Okay, so let's see what we got inside. So that's your door lock. Um, door handle should be able to just disconnect just like that and now this is your window and that is probably oh. okay now that we took the panel out we're going to remove this foam liner Here she is. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna disconnect the motor. There's a clip right here. And just get this harness out. Out of our way. I'm okay. So what are you doing now? We're going to tape the window so it doesn't fall down and I'm using painter's tape because I don't want to mark any of the weather stripping on the outside and have adhesive stuck to it forever. Yeah, because um, if we remove this whole assembly, the window will just slide down. Yeah, that, that should do it. Now we have three 10 millimeter bolts. Actually, they turn out to be nuts. I also decided to remove this foam insulation piece. What we gotta do is actually there's a so this is the outside of the car and uh, there's a there's a tab that you pull so you pull it out towards out outside of the car and that releases the glass and now you can take this whole thing whole assembly out all right mark you want to do the honors replacing the motor sure we got to do something for once now we got to do is actually swap the, the motor from the old assembly to the new one exactly now you could buy a new motor but a new motor might set you back another 80 to 100 dollars no, if, if this motor is good, why would you want to do that? German engineer. Yes. 
So do you see any defects or in, the, in the old one? So typically what you'll see is a lot of dirt and some corrosion. Grind. Sometimes on the other side, this cable actually frayed and it wasn't able to operate either going down or up. Hmm. Probably if we'd left this part in there, eventually it would have frayed. Uh, you can see that it's not very well lubricated on the cable, so it was just a matter of time before it went out. Okay, yeah. It looks kind of tired. Yeah, it looks kind of tired. Okay, so now we just reverse the steps. Huh. Wow. And it's in. I still haven't connected that clip, that green clip. We're gonna connect the motor and raise the window and let that thing just catch. Mark, this is uh, the most important part. Uh, I'm gonna connect connect the window, and you get get in the car and get the passenger window very slowly. Bring that up. The window has a hole in it, and this clip should go inside the hole. So we're gonna slowly bring the this pulley system up. So hopefully it, go, it aligns with the hole and catches it. All right, I'm good. Hold on, safety first, eye protection, go. Go, 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 up. Perfecto, like a glove. Now, turn this thing off. Hold on, Just stay there. Now we're gonna do a test run. Okay, now, now we're gonna try lowering the window. Oh boy. Go up. So, what we actually coming across, it wasn't doing this like this before, right? It goes down only in steps for some reason. It goes down like, like an inch or two down and then it freezes. Now I'm going to reinstall this styrofoam piece. Okay, now I'm ready for uh, for the panel. Okay. I'm gonna reattach the window control now. Just simply plug it in. And now the only thing we have left to do something you have extra parts pulling out. All right, that did sound good. That's it. It's good. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna now we're gonna get the three torque screws. And three. All right, Mark. What we found is that this window opens only like two inches at a time. I mean, it works perfect, but uh, 
kind of annoying. So what Mark found on the internet is that to reset this is that you take from the back, you take the switch and you pull it up and you count to 15. Mark, would you do the honors? Sure. To do the time 15 seconds. Okay, is ignition still on? Yeah. All right. Check this out. It works all the way, all the way up and all the way down. And now, Mark, uh, I brought it down. You bring it up from the from the front. Close it up. Works like magic. So the only thing we need to do is get the switch and pull the window up and hold it for 15 seconds. That does the trick. Holy cow, dude, that was just a nugget of truth right there. All right, so that is it, another successful project. And if you like this video, make sure to share it with your friends, like, and subscribe. Take it easy, guys. Mark. See you next time.